Okay, so I've pretty much been watching the news and paying attention to what's going on in the world. So, in light of that, I decided to expand my garden to plant more stuff. I still haven't learned and or figured out a way to preserve more vegetables to keep them in the long run to store them other than pickling and from my experience pickling is okay but you can't pickle everything so pickled cabbage is one of my favorites Pickled Brussels sprouts are okay. A lot of stuff you just is pickle it just don't. You can't pickle everything. So I need to come up with a way to save vegetables, preserve them, and I've been looking. When I was a kid, we had a basement and it had a bunch of preserves in it. Down, we had a sub cellar is what we called it it was a basement under the basement and it always be so scary to go down there or whatever but I'm trying to find my uh... hold on let me find this over okay I found my see I got my I switched these a lot of the stuff growed in dad because of, uh I had it in the house, but the air condition is too cold, so some of the stuff there, some of the stuff died. But I got my chop saw. I got a fence over here, and this, I guess if I'm looking at myself, I can't show y'all the fence now, can I? There's my babies. This is Miss Sunday, and that's Lavender Pig. My buddy bought these deer antlers, I always seem to think. The dogs love him, but I let him out. He always follows me around. And Sunday, she takes flight. Look at her. Where's she go? Go, Sunday, go. Go, Sunday, go. <laughs> so I got this area over here. Uh, this is some of my vegetables, carrots. These is lavender plants. Something's killing my plants. And I'm having, these is beet. I'll give you a quick rundown. This is cabbage. And them pots is beans. And of course, lettuce. Purple kale. Squash. There's one growing right there. This was cucumbers, but while I was gone, they died. Onions. I think this is Brussels sprouts. These is all green peppers corn that's obvious uh cherry tomatoes i just picked my first uh harvest out of them got like six of them roma tomatoes uh zucchini i had one coming out of that but there's another one coming out more squash that's uh okra this right here i think is squash too green peppers More onions. I don't know what's going on with them. Am I without watering enough? I went a couple days without watering. I mean, the soil's moist. It did rain. It's going to rain again today. So, more peppers. These are all different types of peppers. Serranos. You can see banana peppers. Uh, them is uh, the jumbo. Uh, what's the name? Peppers. I think these are, I forget where I be planting stuff at, but the growth is stunning. I don't know what's going on. These onions are doing good. I got to get in here and weed it out. The weeds grow better than the food a lot of times. You be out here working, got, this, is, this is soil out of bags too. And it's just coming all these weeds and stuff in it. 
that in here. You don't worry about that. You just plant that onion back under there. The roots are still good. I never worry about weeds too much as long as I can. This is Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. These are potatoes. I built this potato box. It got black cow in it. These are more potatoes. This is a uh, fish emulsion I'm making. I need more dirt to put in this. When you grow potatoes, you let the leaves grow up, the stems, then you bury them in dirt. I got dirt in there, peat moss, perlite, and black cow fertilizer. That's what I use. Now back to what I'm originally out here for. My tomatoes are looking good. I use fish emulsion and black cow. I did put Epsom salt and everything before I left. Like my lavender plants was real purple. That's a tomato <coughs> tomato plant I grew in the house right there. I got one more. I put it one over here. It must have died. But this is the spot. I got I bought the cutter because I need to cut this fence out. This wood came out the top of these boxes. So I'm gonna move that. But this space right here, I will clear it out. And I'm gonna get a uh because this is good compost. I'm gonna get a tiller. I'm gonna cut this tree back and I'm gonna get some stuff growing over here. Oh, I'm gonna get the, just came out to cut this fence back today and move these tree limbs. I'll let y'all have a look at it when I'm done. As you can see, I sweated out my shirt, but I rem remembered I had my chainsaw back. So part one, cut most of that tree down, cleaned it up. I didn't figure out how far I was gonna go back or how much room I needed. So that's day one.